Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is valid Sudoku. Determine if a 9x9 nine nine Sudoku board is valid. Only the filled cells need to be validated according to the following rules. Each row must contain digits 1 through 9 without repetition. Each column must contain the digits 1 through 9 without repetition. And each 9 3x3 three three subbox also must contain digits 1 through 9 without repetition. Uh, note the board could be valid but it's not necessarily solvable and only the filled cells need to be validated according to the mentioned rules so you know at first glance I thought they were going to make us try to solve the Sudoku board, Sudoku board. Uh, thankfully it's not that that would have been very difficult uh, but all we really need to do is figure out if the starting board is valid or not and really the approach isn't that complicated right we're going to use a hash set and check every single row check every single column and check every single sub box to make sure that there's no repetitive numbers. Um, so really it's not that difficult, it's just very cumbersome to write. Let's see how fast we can write it, all right? So uh, we know that it's gonna be an n by, or nine by nine board already, so we don't need to calculate the row and column. So what we'll do is do this in three steps. We're gonna start with the rows, the columns, and the sub boxes, okay? And to do the sub boxes, I think I'll write a helper method, but uh, we'll do that when we get there. So we'll start with the rows. What we're going to do is create a sub list and put in all the numbers that exist in every row. After that, what we can do is check the length of this sub list and see if the length of the set of this sub list is the same. And if it is, that means everything is unique and we can just continue our algorithm. So for row in range of n, what do we want to do? Let's first calculate the row here. Uh, so we'll say for, uh, let's see, column, I guess, in board row, uh, as long as this is not equal to um, a period, we're going to put that into our row. And we'll just check if length of row does not equal length of set of row then return a false otherwise we just continue and we're going to do the same thing for the columns we'll have to do a bit a little bit differently here um, we're going to have to say okay column because keep in mind this is all columns so we have to iterate down the rows so for uh, row in range of n we're going to check our if board.rc is not equal to that period, then we're going to input that here. So these would be for all the columns. Or, yeah, it's like all the rows in each column. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll say if length of column does not equal length of set of column, then we return false. Otherwise, we return true here. Well, we have to do our subboxes, but let's just make sure this works. Okay, so so far that seems to be working. So great. Um, now we gotta do our subboxes, right? And what I'm gonna do here is write a helper method. This is gonna take the row and column that we wanna start at. And basically, we wanna do a three by three traversal use a hash set to check to see if we ever f find any repeats but we have to do that at zero zero then we have to do it at zero uh one two th yeah zero three then zero six then we have to do it at what what's this three zero and, and so on and so forth right okay so for row column we'll say let's see we'll create a set here and we'll say four row in range of uh, r to r plus three and then for column in range of c to c plus 3. Uh, let's see. If board.rc equals a period, then we're just going to continue. Otherwise, let's see. Um, if board of rc not in our set, then we're going to add it. Otherwise, we should return a false. OK, 
Okay, so now we have our Helper method, and we're just going to go through um, row and columns, but by 3 by 3. So this would be for row in range of n, uh, we'll go 0, n, every 3, and for column in range of 0, n, range of 3. So we'll do that by, by 3 multiples of 3, and we're going to say if... I should say return true here, if you can get through it, return true. If not helper RC, then we return a false. But otherwise, we just continue and we can return it true. So let's make sure this works here. All right, so that looks like it's working. And accepted. So time complexity, it looks pretty complicated, but it's really just n squared. Um, space complexity would be the same because we keep generating these lists and sets, right? And that's really it. There's some other approaches like using bin masking and ways to try to do it like all in one pass. Uh, but, you know, all in all, it kind of turns out to be the same. I think this is the most understandable. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.